morning guys it is <laughs> it is a cloudy morning here in on the gold coast and we are out for our morning walk spencey's got rusk all over his face so we're not feeling very well we've actually all got a cold and we've got some really bad news about piper so he has epilepsy dear me so we're just going nice and slow here so we've got piper i mean he's very happy to be on the walk <laughs> and as you can see he's pulling the pram but we had a really big fright the other day so it was just um on thursday afternoon i was taking piper for a walk and he experienced a seizure in the foyer and it was the most frightening thing i've seen and so we were really worried about that and hubby look he's having a scratch and um i i remember i mean he was on the floor having a seizure and i was calling luke with one hand with my other hand and i was holding him with the other hand and luke immediately sort of suspected maybe epilepsy and um we have taken him to the vet Here's little Spency. And the vet did say that epilepsy in Frenchies is very common and usual onset is about three. And he is smack bang on three. So, um, oh, there's, there's Piper's friend. Oh, good morning. There's lots of, <laughs> lots of dogs. We've got, whoops. <laughs> we got Dog Central here. <laughs> How are you this morning? No, no, that's all good. There's Pickle. Piper loves Pickle. And that is Utah. Uh, Utah, and you're John. Right, I do you're remember Suvi. Suvi right. <laughs> and we are on our, oh, there's Utah. So we've got really bad news. So I'm live at the moment because I'm a YouTuber. So I've got, I've got the phone here on oh, Piper. Okay. Right. Yeah, is yeah, that sure, okay? Hey. Can you, do you want to say hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> you're John, hi. We're all, yes, we're, all <laughs> we're all out walking and morning. Oh, oh Piper. So we, so we've got really bad news about Piper. He's got epilepsy. Oh. So we had a seizure on, um, on Thursday afternoon yeah. and, and, um, I called hubby and we took him to the vet yesterday, basically. Yeah. And it's very common. Look, there's Utah. Utah's looking very handsome and it's very common in Frenchies apparently. And, and usual onset is age, um, three. I'm actually going to pop the phone on Spency so I can actually, there you go. There's Spency. Spency's got lots of fans. People love. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, there you go. He's a little bit sick at the moment. Oh. But anyway, yeah. So uh, um, usual onset for epilepsy is about the age of three in Frenchies, and it's is actually it? really oh, common. Oh, he's about three. Wow. Is he? Yeah. yeah. I had a dog that had epilepsy. Um, oh. It was a, um, a Boston Terrier. Oh, he didn't right. get it till he was older, but he yeah. had terrible. Oh, it was so scary. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The yeah. first seizure, so it was Thursday afternoon. And I, for a second, I thought he was going to die in front of my eyes. Yeah, I didn't know right. what was going yeah, on. No, they don't. They seem to go through. Well, he did anyway, this dog. Yeah. Uh, well, she. But, um, yeah, oh. so they took medication. I think it was a medication thing. But it doesn't prolong their life or anything. Oh. I mean, it's not good. It's just symptomatic, is it? Yeah, just I for think the seizures. So, yeah. So we're um, quite prone about that. Like that's just the. I haven't heard that in French bulldog. Oh, you haven't. Yeah. No. Well, I, well, as soon as Luke mentioned um, epilepsy, I then immediately googled it, and it all came up. Very common. Very, very usual. In. So it's not like and smack bang on three. So that's the usual onset. Had medication? He's had medication. He's not. So the vet said that he only starts medication if it's more frequent than once a month. So we'll keep an eye on the frequency of it. Yeah, well, hopefully it's only, yeah. hopefully it's less than that. Yeah, but yeah. so we're just taking it nice and slow this morning. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But she did say primary epilepsy is a lot better because if it's secondary epilepsy, it would mean something really nasty like a brain tumor or. Oh, he's dropped something. He right. said, there's your rust. How do you know it's primary or secondary? Uh, well, she doesn't know exactly, but they, they took some blood tests on Friday. And um, that's just rainwater. <laughs> yeah. It's good for him. It is. It is. He eats all that you go. Oh, Utah, I'll have it in a minute. Oh, yeah, I know. Piper has it. Last well, long with him. I know. 
Well, um, well, she's taken some blood tests. Yeah, right. darling. We're, well, and um, and so we'll see what they say. But she thinks it's primary. Right, she's okay, pretty sure. Right. All right. Well, we might keep moving because yeah, no, the little one's grizzly. Way, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, love. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Here you go, darling. Are you getting grizzly? All right, well, so we'll keep moving. We'll keep moving. Oh, bottle's going everywhere. <laughs> there you go. Do you want to hold this? Look at me. Oh, no, well, that's thrown everywhere. <laughs> that's being thrown everywhere. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. I can see a couple of comments have come in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you want this to go. Okay, we've got a new... We got a new game that's we started. Spency loves it, so we go, wee! So we move this, so I don't know if you can see, actually, yeah, we've got a toy here, and we um, move it down the pram like this. I'll see if I can move. Oh, you can't really see the rail, but there's a little, um, you know, the pram handle, and so we we slide it down. You ready? Wee! He loves that game. <laughs> wee! There you go. And we can slide this one down as well. Wee! You like that too, don't you? Yes, you do. Wee! Well, that was nice to run into Utah. We like Utah. Utah's another Frenchie. We like, we like Utah. Yeah, we like running into our Frenchie friends. Do you know there's lots of... Well, careful, darling. Don't bang yourself too much in the pram. There's lots of Frenchies on the Gold Coast. Yeah, there are lots of Frenchies on the Gold Coast, aren't they, darling? Oh, Piper's now having a... Piper's, Piper's doing a... So we've got to pick up after Piper, darling. We've got to wait for Piper. Piper, Piper going to the toilet. Yeah, Piper going to the toilet. You can play with that if you want to. I've just got to pick up after Piper. Piper! Come on. Piper's just having a... Having a poop, so we're gonna pick up after Piper. Okay. Alright, let's pop that down there. And we'll pop that there and we'll just give Piper's. There we go. Alright, we've picked up after Pipey, so we'll put the bag there. Yeah, you play with that little um with that little cup. Oh hi Craig, thank you so much for your support. <laughs> I just saw the comments come in now. I mean, I can see the comments, but they're at the bottom of the phone. So I've just been picking up after Piper. Of course, Piper has a lot of pit stops on our morning walk because <laughs> we live in an apartment. So he just can't wait to get out in the morning. Thank you very, very much for your support, guys. We genuinely appreciate it. <laughs> All right, off we go. We're on the move again. On the move again. Yeah, on the move again. We are. We'll put glasses in here. And thank you so much too for your comment. So Nabil, am I getting that right? I um, I hope I got that pronunciation right. All right, darling, we've, we're up at the road, so we are going to cross the road here. We cross the road. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're going to cross the road here, darling. We'll, we'll stop at the lights. There we go. Oh, we can cross now, actually. Yeah, we can cross now. Here we go. Cross now. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, yeah, Piper's having another pit stop. We have a lot of pit stops. 
Oh, hello. We've got another nice comment coming in. Hi, Margarita. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. Hello. Where do you hail from? <laughs> We're here in Australia. <laughs> and it's a cloudy morning here, actually, on the Gold Coast. It's um, usually very beautiful weather here on the Gold Coast, but it's cloudy here. It's actually been, we've had a lovely um, wet summer, to be honest. Yeah, I like, I like, um, I actually like lots, lots of rain. Rain is my favourite weather. I really like rain. We don't get enough rain in Australia. Yeah, we don't get enough rain, do we? We don't get enough rain. Not enough rain here. You're being nice and chatty. You're being nice and chatty this morning. Spencer's being nice and chatty. <laughs> yeah, we like going out on our walks, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do you want to say hello? Yeah, you're saying hello. You're being really chatty. Yeah, you're being really chatty, aren't you? Be so chatty. Hi, Pa. Come on. We can cross here. We're crossing the tram tracks at the moment, so it's really bumpy. Bit bumpy. Bit bumpy across the tram tracks, isn't it? Oh, we're finally coming up to a bin, so I'll be able to put Piper's, Piper's poop in the bin. I've got a bag. All right, let's pop that there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's interesting looking. It is, isn't it? Hey? It's interesting looking at everything. Yeah, we do like looking at stuff. It's so nice being out on a walk. We live in an apartment, so just to be able to get out is really nice. Yeah, there's a big truck going. There's a big truck. Big truck. Oh, hi, Joe. How are you, my friend? <laughs> We haven't heard from you for a little bit. How are you doing? <laughs> What's the weather there like? <laughs> we have got, we've had a really cloudy week actually. It's just been cloudy and drizzly all week. And it is cloudy this morning too. Hey, you wanna say hi Joe? You wanna give Joe a wave? He, Spencer is busy teething on. Do you know Spencer's already got molars growing? He has been the teething champion. You got teeth early and you continue to grow teeth. Yeah, you've got so many teeth, it's not funny. <laughs> He's got teeth everywhere. Oh, Piper's found some chips to eat. We better let Piper have a chip to eat. Oh yeah, I know. Mental, yeah, mental health is a really big deal, isn't it? Like, it's so important to look after it. Like, I'm really glad there's more awareness about it now, because yeah, it's like any other, um, you know, any other health ailment. You've certainly got to look after it, and I'm I'm genuinely glad there is more awareness of it. And yeah, look, it's it's hard, isn't it? Oh, two days under 30. Well that, well, that would be a little bit of a... 
um, relief because the hot weather is here. It's been driving everyone crazy. It's been so hot some days. And there was one day when someone um, did something to our air conditioning unit in the whole building. So of course the air conditioning wasn't working and that, that was really horrible. Like the extreme heat was bad too. Well, I don't know if you saw the beginning of the live stream, but Piper's got epilepsy. So on Thursday afternoon, oh, it was the most horrifying thing I've seen. We were heading out for our walk and, um, and, I, and Piper fell over. He sort of tripped, but then, but then he righted himself and kept going, but then he fell again and he rolled over onto his back and he had a seizure and it's genuinely the most scary thing I've seen. I honestly thought he was gonna die right in front of my eyes. Like he was all rigid. I was frantically calling hubby with my other hand trying to comfort him with one hand and um so we took him to the vet and the vet thinks it's primary epilepsy so that was a big blow this week we're pretty upset about that the vet's taken some blood tests but um we'll see what they say she does think it's primary epilepsy though and apparently it's very common in frenchies but it was still yeah it's still really upsetting obviously yeah well, I mean, the vet, so he doesn't have to go on medication unless he has more than one seizure a month. So now we've just got to keep an eye on it. He hasn't had another seizure and, and we're just taking it nice and gentle. But look, primary epilepsy would be the best case scenario because if it's secondary epilepsy, that would mean something really bad's happening like a brain tumour or something like that. So. We are hoping that it's just primary epilepsy and and look, it should, it, it'll be able to be managed, but yeah, it's just a big blow. Life, life just keeps doling out shit, doesn't it? And our car broke down as well <laughs> the other week. So now we're finally picking it up today. It's finally been fixed, but we've been having to have a higher car all this week. <laughs> We're just going through a really busy cafe at the moment. Well, not through the cafe. It's a cafe, but they've got tables on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's a really busy cafe, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Oops. And Spencey's a little bit sick. <laughs> we have a we have a um, a leased Jag, so it's an older model. We've had it for quite a few years now, but we got it on lease. But I, we are nearly paying it, paid it off. <laughs> so it's almost ours. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a black, it's a black car. Gary, do you know, honestly, Gary would know more about what sort of car we've got, to be honest. Gary, if you log into this live stream at any point, can you let me know what sort of car we have? And I'm not being sarcastic. I am so bad with cars. I do know it's a Jag, but Gary, <laughs> Gary will probably know what sort of, I don't know if there's different models or. It's, um, it's not, I don't even know if it's a four wheel drive. Well, it's kind, well, it kind of is. It's a SUV shape. <laughs> he, he does not look like a homeless guy. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> you do have a home, don't you? Do you know, um, we're actually doing more breastfeeding videos too. And I've been doing a little bit more research on it because as per usual, there are some people that will give you negative comments online. So it got me doing a little bit of research and very interestingly, and we'll be doing a video on this soon, they've done studies because in the UK, they're really trying to raise breastfeeding rates because breastfeeding rates are very, um, very low in the UK apparently. And um, they have done studies. So pregnant women that see other women breastfeeding are then more likely to breastfeed themselves. So I just thought that is so fantastic that and, and basically it just brings me to what I'm very passionate about. We should not be hidden away. Breastfeeding women should definitely not be hidden away because 
it's sort of that tribal community mentality that when when pregnant women see other women breastfeeding, they are then more likely to breastfeed their own children and so, so on and so forth. And in today's world, social media actually is sort of our tribe. Like that's our, um... <laughs> no, he's not hungry. He's not um, feeding all, fe feeling all that well though today. We've got a cold, we've all got a cold. I think Piper's got a cold too. <laughs> Yeah, he's a happy, he's a happy chappy though, but we've all got a cold. <laughs> we'll certainly be feeding him later though. Do check out, we've got a fantastic video coming today at two o'clock. It's um, Spencer's one year vaccinations and it's been filmed by Gary Trezise for Local and Creative Productions. And so we um, were able to film that at Chevron Advanced Medical Centre here in Surfers Paradise. And it's a very good quality video and we have the doctor on the video saying breastfeeding babies after a vaccine is the best time to get them settled, isn't it? It's the best way. <laughs> oh, that, oh, I'm just reading a comment now. Sorry, Joe, I missed your comment. It's scrolled. It's scrolled up, but I'm looking. Oh, is this? Oh, Spencey, we're moving. Is this your comment, Joe? I, I don't, I can't see your name at the top of it. Or, so it's saying that let down four times, the majority of these times are the battery. So you know what it was with our car? It was the, yes, it was the battery or the alternator. The alternator wasn't charging the battery or something. And it's also the cooling system. So, um, so yeah, the cooling system, <laughs> it's been leaking fluid down in the basement for ages. And, um, and yes, it's finally being fixed. I tell you what, when you have a baby, all sorts of things like um, annoying incidentals like the car playing up sort of get, get dropped way down on the priority list. <laughs> Don't oh. they? Yeah, baby sort of takes over. Baby kind of takes over. Hey, you're very busy with a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Brady. <laughs> He's checking out everyone here on the Gold Coast. I don't know if you... <laughs> he is. He does like looking at people. <laughs> Your comment made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, Spencey's a cool dude. He's such a cool dude. He's awesome. You're awesome, aren't you? Hey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're funny. Hey, you're funny. You like looking at things, don't you? We love the Gold Coast because it's there's lots of action all the time here. There's tons of stuff for us to look at. Oh yeah, I know you're a bit tired. Oh, that is mine. Our batteries all died. <laughs> yeah. Dropped cells, wow. Yeah, battery, I know, what a pain. So what, car, what kind of cars cars do you have? Do you have SUVs or, um, yeah, they are such a pain. Cars are just a nightmare. Do you know much about mechanics? Like, can you, if your car breaks down, do you sort of know what's wrong with it before taking it to a mechanic? Because we don't, we don't know anything about cars. We were literally stuck in the middle. Well, actually it was Luke and the kids initially. I was at home doing some work and then I took a taxi and went and got them. And they were literally in the middle of a busy intersection. But you know what? It was so nice. A lot of people actually stopped and offered to help. So that, that was genuinely nice. I think they saw a dad with a baby in his arms and a 10 year old little girl stranded with the car with all the lights flashing. So a lot of people did stop to help offer to help so I thought that was really nice but it had to be towed away basically it could not be fixed it was dead it was dead in the middle of the intersection <laughs> worst place for it to happen always <laughs> oh Toyota Camrys I absolutely love Camrys I had a I had a Toyota Camry but I gave it away to a friend believe it or not because we lived in Ellie Beach and Amity was born in Mackay so we were living in Ellie Beach when I had Amity 10 years ago 
and I had a burgundy Camry and I drove around everywhere in Ely Beach and it was such a nice car. It was, it was actually really reliable. I actually really loved my Camry. And um, then we were moving to the Gold Coast and the logistics of driving it down to the Gold Coast, because then we had two cars at that point. It was just too much and it was an old Camry anyway and, and the resale value would not have been much at all. And, and, um, and I had a friend who was really trying to have a baby at that point, actually. And so I actually, we actually just gave it to her and just came down to the Gold Coast. So we still only have the one car because I don't really, we don't really need two cars. I just, I just push the pram around, surfers and yeah, we, don't, we actually don't really need two cars at the moment. But um, so yeah, I agree. Toyota spells reliability, yeah. Yeah, so I um I really I really did like my Camry so much. I wouldn't mind having another Camry one day. I do like Camrys. If we move out of our apartment ever um, and get into a slightly bigger place, we um I might get we might get a second car and I I, I might get a Camry. I might get a Camry. I like Camrys. Toyota Camrys are really good. I do really like them. Yeah, what are you looking at, Danny? You're looking at all the shop windows. Yeah. Hey. He's so chatty. <laughs> Avertus. Oh, cool. Avertus. So I can't. I'll have to look up Avertus when we get back. What sort of car? What sort of car is Avertus? Joe might know. Do you know what Avertus is? Yes. 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 Exactly. I'm getting exercise at the same time and. When we moved down to the Gold Coast, Amity was in the pram and all the shops, we're really close to everything. We got shops, we got medical centre, we got physio, we've got, we got everything at walking distance. So, and then I can just catch the tram as well because the, the G here on the Gold Coast is really good. So, so we're all set. So we don't really need a second car at the moment. And, and, and on occasion, if I have to get a taxi, that's still cheaper than running a second car because all the costs involved, you know, you can't just have the car sitting in the garage and, and using it once, once a, you know, every six months or so, because then you've got the rego, you have to upkeep it. Um, yeah, just everything, so. Yeah, so we're, we're all right at the moment, aren't we? We got the pram. I say the pram, the pram's my car. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you doing? Oh, it's all right, darling. Are you looking for that? Or are you looking for this? Hey, do you want a drink? Oh, no, we don't want a drink. Oh, okay. Oh, you want this. I think you want this. Do you want that? No, you don't want that. Do you want to just walk fast? Do you want to walk fast, 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 fast? Hey, do you want to walk fast? Oh, we're getting a bit upset. It's all right, darling. Yeah, we got a bit of a cold. Here. Here. I'm just pushing the frame a bit faster. Oh, we've just dropped that. Well, darling, this is something we don't want to lose because it's the lid of... <laughs> it's the lid of your bottle thing, so we don't actually want to use it. Papa, come on. Yeah, I know. Taxi is expensive. Taxi is really dear. I always take the tram. Yeah, it is. We can't, you can't really have a taxi ride for much under $30 here. By the time you factor in all the traffic lights and... Oh, Piper, Piper has to go to the toilet, dummy. Piper's going... Pfft. Yeah, we have to wait for Piper to go to the toilet, don't we? Hey? Dude is, dude is angry. I know. I think, I think he wants to get out of the pram and probably be on a scooter soon or he's just he's just feeling a bit a bit yucky we just we all got a cold at the moment all got a cold piper yeah you'll be bankrupt yeah <laughs> pretty much the same here too i should sign up with uber uber might be uber uber might be a little bit um cheaper but yeah no i do agree taxis Taxis do bankrupt you. It's so expensive. <laughs> All right, let's go across here, darling. Let's go across here. We'll go across here. Here we go. There we go. 
Oh, go across here. Oh, Joe, Joe, you're still there. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say, um, take, take some video of something. Because we would like to... <laughs> yeah, well, I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to visit India. If you're in India, that would be so cool. Do you know, um, Gary, our local and creative productions videographer, has been to India. He went to India, I think, was it last year? Or no, it was the year before. Time goes so quick. And yeah, he loved it. But yeah, Joe, I was going to say, get out and um, get a video of something. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see another truck video or something, wouldn't we? Oh, Piper. Piper's eating something that looks very feral on the footpath, so we're going to keep moving. Piper. Piper. That's the way. Yeah, we're going to move Piper along because he's eating something. Yeah, now we're going past the pub. So you can probably hear the music. Here we go, Piper. This way. This way. This way. Yeah. You're chatting now, aren't you? Hey. A bit happier. Happier. Be happier. Be happier. He's happier. He's happier. Oh, Missouri. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. How are you enjoying the US? Piper. 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 Now he's trying to eat. Piper. Move, 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 move. Buses are really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know, darling. We're waiting for Piper. Piper keeps finding. Do you know because it's um Saturday morning? Correct me if I'm wrong, Joe. <laughs> I get my days. I think it's Saturday morning. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's Saturday morning. Because it's Saturday morning, Piper finds all the spilled things over from Friday night because the Gold Coast gets pretty feral on Friday nights. <laughs> So there's spilled food everywhere. <laughs> but you know, I agree with you, Joe. I like buses. Buses are nice. Buses are cool. I don't know, I like buses. <laughs> well, yeah, we just have to keep Piper moving because Piper keeps finding feral things on the footpath to eat. All right, we'll go over here. We'll go over here. There we go. There we go. Actually, here comes a really big bus. Oh. There we go. We're beside some pretty loud traffic at the moment. We've got cars going past. And we've actually got buses just going past too, ironically. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, old Piper's having a drink. I'm having a drink. There we go. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, Piper's having a drink. Yeah, eight o'clock for you guys. So when does um daylight saving end? I think it's is it around Easter? Piper. And do you like daylight saving or not? Because I was in mixed minds about it when we lived in Victoria. There were sometimes I liked it and sometimes I didn't like it. I didn't like getting up in the dark. When I, when I had a job where I had to be there quite early, it was always such a relief when winter was over to get up when it was light. And then of course daylight saving would, would clock in and then I'd be getting up in the dark again. Oh, I know, you're a bit tired. You're a bit tired. You're a bit tired. Okay, come on, come on. Sorry guys, I think I'm a bit behind with the 
with the conversation at the moment because we've just been beside a busy highway and the little one's getting a bit tired. Pipsa, come on, yeah. Come on, Pipsa. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we're just trying to keep the plane moving. There we go. Actually, it's starting to drizzle here. Oh, the Sunday after Easter. Yeah, I know. It runs forever in Victoria. <laughs> it felt like daylight saving went forever. <laughs> It did. Do you know, I loved daylight saving when it ended. That was so cool because then you got an extra hour in the day. Like, I really like that. But I hate it when daylight saving starts because it makes the day seem so short. You lose a whole hour and I know it's only an hour, but it actually changes the whole day. Or it feels like it changes the whole day. <laughs> yeah, I love the Gold Coast too. Sea World, yeah. We should go to Sea World again. We haven't been to Sea World for ages. The last, the last theme park we went to here was Dream World. We've got a year's, a yearly pass to Dream World. Because for locals or for anyone, I guess it doesn't cost much more to just make it a yearly pass, as opposed to just the day pass. But as it happens always, we are not really making the most of the yearly pass. We have not been back since we went in September last year. We should go back, make the most of our yearly pass. Hey, even if we go back to the candy shop. But yeah, we ought to go to SeaWorld. SeaWorld is great. Oh, bless you. Bless you. I know, I know. Bless you. Yeah, we, we've all got a cold. <laughs> I think even Piper's got a cold. He's got a little runny nose. Okay, Piper. Piper, this way. Piper, yeah, Piper's got a bit of a cold. He's just having a sniff. There we go. Piper, this way. Piper, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Piper's coming now. Piper's coming now. <laughs> yeah, Piper's coming now. Yeah, I agree. They are just so beautiful. I do 100% agree with you. Yeah, we really ought to. We ought to go to SeaWorld and, and see see how it's changed. Because, I mean, I think they do upgrades all the time and we really haven't been for quite a few years. We went when Amity was about three or four, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, I would like to go back. Well, thanks for putting that into my mind because that's, that's definitely an outing I'd love to do. And, believe, and SeaWorld is, <laughs> it's so funny, isn't it? When we lived in Victoria, when I was a kid, we used to come up to the Gold Coast for holidays and going to SeaWorld was such a big deal. Like it was so exciting. And we'd go to SeaWorld and we'd go to DreamWorld. But now we live so close and we're not making the most of it at all. It's so typical, isn't it? <laughs> we should make the effort and go to SeaWorld. We should pretend we live in Victoria and we'll go to SeaWorld as a fun outing. <laughs> it's always the case though. You don't explore your own backyard anywhere near as much as you should. Oh, love, I know, darling. It's because Piper keeps stopping. All right, let's go. Let's go. I know you're tired. Hey, I know you're tired. Oh, Piper, no, you're not going to eat that. Come on, no. No, 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 Piper. Piper. Oh, darling, it's a piece of croissant. Piper can't go past a croissant. He has to stop and eat the croissant. Okay, Piper, come on. I tried to pull Piper past a piece of croissant and no luck whatsoever. <laughs> Piper was not gonna go past a croissant. He would fight to the death for that piece of croissant, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, I know. Dubbo everywhere. Look, it's so true. No matter where you live, there's awesome places to check out. You've just got to go out and look at them. Yeah, no, that is true. Oops, uh... Okay, we're crossing another road here. Yeah, we go. 
Ay. <laughs> yes, that is very true. That is a very good point. Piper is a Frenchie and croissants do indeed come from France. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah, no wonder Piper likes them so much. Hey, no wonder. Okay, we're going to cross the road. Oh, love, you're getting tired. It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. We're going to cross here. We're moving. We just have to stop at the lights. We have to stop at the lights. Do you want to press the button? Do you want to press the button? Darling, look. Sweetheart, do you want to press the button? Oh, now we're going to go. Now that you can press it. Oh, that was exciting. That was exciting. Little Spencer just got to touch the, um, or press the button, the pedestrian lights. We're, we're starting to get very good at pressing buttons. We, we do love pressing buttons very much. Yeah, don't we, Danny? Whoops. We do. It's so exciting. But yes, do, do check out today's video at two o'clock. It is Spencer's one year vaccinations and it's been filmed by Gary Trezise. He did a fantastic job. I absolutely love working with Gary. We, um, we do videos for local and creative productions and it was really nice of the medical centre actually to let us film. They're a fantastic medical centre. They've been really supportive and they've looked after Spencer so well. Oh, Brisbane Truck Show, yes. Yes, yes, and you absolutely should film us some trucks because we would absolutely love to see them. Yeah, because Brisbane's a little bit of a hike for us on a normal sort of weekend run, so I don't think we'll get up there, but, but yeah, you should absolutely go to the truck show. That would be so cool. Yeah, it would be so cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah. Oh, you're getting very active in the pram, darling. It's starting to drizzle, actually. You are getting so active in the pram, aren't you? You really are. Well, we are almost home, so we might say goodbye. So we'll try and, um, yeah, we're nearly home, darling. So, well, um, I'll just take this. Yeah, I know, darling. I was taking this phone out of the, see, that's where it sits. It sits there. And, oh, and this is the game we like playing. Oh, love, okay. All right, darling. Well, look, we'll say goodbye. So here's Piper. So cross our fingers that the blood test come back, okay? Okay, love. Well, we're nearly home, okay? We'll get you fed and we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll maybe get a nap in, okay? And, um, yes, <laughs> yes, sounds good. Yes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's it. 3 p.m. New South Wales time. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a really good weekend. You stay, stay strong, Joe. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Do you want to say goodbye? We say goodbye. We're nearly home. And fingers crossed that Piper's blood tests come back all okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know the Frenchie waddle. That is true. And look, someone's left their shoe on the footpath. This is what we deal with here in Surface Paradise. <laughs> okay. Bye. We say bye. Bye. Bye.